We have control of our minute, our hour, our day, our week, our month, and our year. Stop running around being on the receiving end of whatever people want to dump on you. You showed up. You accepted that invite. You invited these people to your house. You're in a relationship with that man. You're in a relationship with that woman. That's you. So how do you feel at the end of your night? How easy and how convenient is it for us to blame everything and everybody for the things that we have going on in our lives? There is a such thing as you being a positive and a great person with the best of intentions towards everybody and shit is rough and you just can't get a break. But most of you, most of you are waking up every day looking for pain, dysfunction, drama, unemployment, being broke, struggling, dropping every excuse in the book about your childhood and the problems and dysfunction that you grew up in that's stopping you from becoming successful. You don't like your friends, so why are you still with them? You don't trust your managers, agents, and lawyers, so why are they still there? Do you really expect your life and career to be any different from messing with the same things, people, and situations? That's all I'm saying. Are the things that you're doing and the people that you're hanging out with and the places and the circles that you're traveling in, does that reflect a person that actually loves themselves? If you love yourself, why would you fuck with those type of people? You know what they're saying about you behind your back. You know they're jealous and envious of who you are and the things that you got going on in your life and your career. You know that they don't like you. And they've made it clear. They've sent you every sign imaginable that they could possibly send you. And because you're so desperate to have people around you and in your life, you continue to go back. You continue to show up to everything they invite you to, knowing what they're saying about you. I'm not preaching separatism. I don't want a bunch of people to just be alone at home doing nothing with no friends, no family, and nothing to do. I'm saying that at this point, you are old enough and mature enough to understand the difference in good people and bad people. And when you're hanging out with negative, dark and dysfunctional people. You cannot expect yourself to go to sleep at night and rest. You cannot expect yourself to feel good about your day when you're including negative and dysfunctional people in your day. Stop being a lazy, bum ass person that's full of excuses, sitting around on the pity potty coming up with every excuse in the world as to why you ain't winning. You are the reason you're not winning. You keep messing with negative, evil, and dysfunctional people and expecting positive results. It's time you get off the pity potty, stop complaining about being out of shape when you never go to the gym. Stop looking at your stomach when you get out of the shower and your body and complaining about the way you look when you're eating everything in sight and never going to the gym. You are the reason you look the way you look. You are the reason you're unemployed. You are the reason why your surroundings are so dysfunctional and negative. You could still be in the hood, broken, fucked up, and living a peaceful life. It's a choice. We are being raised in a generation of people that come up with every excuse in the book as to why they are not winning. You have every excuse in the, reason, in the book why you're not spending time with your kids. Fathers, I'm talking to you. Because you're able to create a child doesn't mean that you're a father. It doesn't mean that you understand the concept of fatherhood. It's time to stop coming up with excuses why five, six, seven months and even years have went by without you seeing your child. It's wrong and it's only the kids that are suffering in the end. I got drama, I got issues, my shit is public knowledge. I'm doing any means necessary to spend time with my little girl, period. Say whatever you wanna say, say whatever you wanna say and, and you can read whatever you wanna read. I am 
com fully committed to spending time with my little one, period. Excuses sound best to the people that's making them up. You got every excuse in the world. That's why your shit ain't moving. That's why ain't nothing change and nothing will change. Because you have convinced yourself that everything is wrong, everything is, neg is negative, and nothing will change. And guess what? It won't change. Change your mind and it will change your life. Change. If nothing around you changes, change the things that are around you. I'm tired of it. I'm frustrated with the amount of people that are not successful because they have thought their way into a depression. You have thought your way into negativity and misery. You have thought your way into holding on to a dude or a girl that you broke up with a year or two ago and you're still sad and miserable. They didn't moved on with their life. It's all in the mind. Change your mind and it will change your life. You just have to, you just have to wake up. You just have to break that negative spirit. You have to break through all of that shit that you're carrying. I don't want to, I don't feel sorry for you. You feel sorry for yourself. That's the problem. Even when positive people are trying to give you all this good energy, you have tricked your mind to turn every positive thing that they say into something negative. Every time they say anything to try and motivate you and inspire you, you, you turn every negative thought and every, you turn every positive thought, every positive intention, everything that they try and to, to boost your spirits up, you flip it, shake it, manipulate it, and you, have, you are so determined to be negative and miserable. It's unbelievable. So what you grew up with them? So what their childhood friends? So what their family? We have a responsibility to walk in the direction of peace. I want to laugh. I want to smile. I want to enjoy myself. I actually want to feel good about the people that are around me. Because you're inviting me doesn't mean I want to show up. Because you're calling me doesn't mean I'm going to call you back. Because you want me to be there doesn't mean that I want to be there. Because we're family, because we're friends, because we grew up together doesn't mean that I want to be a part of any and everything that you want me to be a part of. Why? Because my experience with you hasn't necessarily made me feel good about my life or my experience at the end of every night. Because you go to sleep at night doesn't mean you're resting. Because you close your eyes at night and you are asleep physically doesn't mean that you're actually resting. And the reason that you don't rest is because while you're awake, everything and every body that's in and around your life is so full of issues, problems, insecurities, dysfunction, negativity. Your mind is and your spirit is in turmoil. It's issues and problems. Arguments, yelling, screaming, dysfunction. I want you to stop playing the victim. You are not the victim. You decided that those are your friends. You decided that those are the people that you want to spend time with. You decided this is what you wanted to do with your day. When you get invited to places, doesn't mean you have to show up. No one wants to be alone. But why spend the rest of your life being miserable, frustrated, and insecure, and not really feeling as good as you have a responsibility to feel? Feeling good isn't just an opportunity. Feeling good is a responsibility that we all have for ourselves. And guess what? I actually don't care what you say about me. I don't remember the last time I lost sleep over a hater and the things that people are running around saying, blogs, websites, conversation, tweets, and I don't lose sleep over haters. Why? Because I know exactly how I feel about me. 
And even if something appears to be very different than what it really is, I don't even mind that you're talking shit about the things that you're assuming that's really going on. The question is, are you just gonna look at this video and decide, wow, that was some powerful and do the same thing? But it's a new day. It's a new day.